Good day everyone, you're watching Ray2 Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix uh, in case if your Outlook crashes when you upon send and receive. Let's say that uh, you have Outlook, you're trying to click on send and receive and the Outlook crashes. Now, there are a couple of common causes and the solution for this. And um, one of the main causes could be your security software, which is associated with the Outlook. And, um, and because of your security software, you might get this error message. Now, the first thing what I would suggest you to do is to disable your security software by, if you go back to the task bar and if you expand this you will see your security software which is already um, um, enabled and what you will have to do is in my case I have Abira and uh, in order to disable that I will have to go ahead and ch uncheck the box which says enable real-time protection for example like Norton and McAfee and also the other security software you might see a same option in case if you don't see this option on the taskbar, you might have to open uh, security software and disable uh, the security software uh, manually. Now, once you disable the security software, you can try opening Outlook and try to send and receive and see if that works. In case if that doesn't work, uh, what I would suggest you is uh, click on the search and click on run. In the run wind open run window in the run window you can type c colon and this will open up your win windows explorer once you're on the windows explorer page you will have to enable hidden files and folders if you're using windows 10 you will have to go to view tab and keep that uh, keep this box checked hidden items and a file extension keep this box checked in case if you're using older version of computer you will have to go to file options and click on change folder and search option and under view tab you will have to check the box which says show hidden files and folders so and also uncheck the box which says hide extension for known file types so once you're on this page you will have to uh, go to the location where uh, your send and receive settings are stored so basically what you will have to do is you will have to go under users folder under C and you will have to select uh, the folder which is under your username for example in my case my username is Raytube so I will have to open Raytube in your case your username could be John so you will see a folder which says John or uh, whatever name you have given open this folder under this folder you will have to go to app data under app data you will have to go to roaming under roaming you will have to go to folder called Microsoft under Microsoft you will see a folder called Outlook now here you will see a file which says outlook.srs now outlook.srs is nothing but it contains the rent send and receive settings for your Outlook so you will have to go ahead and delete this folder and do remember you will have to close Outlook to delete this particular uh, outlook.srs file in case if you have outlook open you will not be able to delete it so in my case i have the outlook open if i try to delete it i will not be able to delete it because uh, it, it has been used by the other application so in order to delete that you will have to close outlook and then try to delete it now deleting will not cause any harm it will just um, uh, when you try to launch outlook it will recreate the srs file again so after deleting, you can try opening Outlook and try to send and receive emails and see if that works. In case if that doesn't work, uh, what you will uh, have to do is you will have to repair your PSD file. It is, it is possibly that your PSD file has been corrupted. Now, let me walk you through step-by-step -step instruction on how to uh, repair your PSD file. So first thing is you will have to close Outlook again. This make sure you close Outlook because when you're repairing the PST file, if you have your Outlook open, uh, you will not be able to repair the PST file. And here, what you will have to do is hope, click on search again, click on run. In the run window, you will have to type C colon. And in the C colon, what you will have to do is you will have to search for scan PST. So, what scan PST is nothing but inbox repair tool once you have uh, have the uh, scan PST listed you will have to open this in case if you're not able to find it I will also mention the default location of scan PST for a different outlook version 
so you can go to that location and um, access the scan PST so now that I have the scan PST file listed here I, I will have to open double click on that now here it will open up the Microsoft Outlook inbox repair tool now you once it is open now you will have to read this note before starting you must quit Outlook and all mail enabled application to diagnose and repair errors in file like I said you will have to close Outlook when you try to run the inbox repair tool so once you have it open you will have to click on browse once you go to browse um, you will have to go to the default it will directly take you to the PST file location open it and select the PST file which has been associated uh, with your account click on open and click on start so what this will do is it will start repairing your outlook PST file it has got eight different stages and it will once all stages is completed you will see this option which says that following file has been scanned only minor in inconsistency were found in the file repairing file is optional to repair click repair keep this box checks which says make a backup of scan file before repairing and then click on repair so once the repair is complete you will see this option you can try relaunching outlook and try to send and receive emails you should be able to send and receive emails now in case if you have any doubts leave me a comment in the comment section i will be more than happy to help you um, now likely in case if this video was helpful please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more fixes. Thank you. Have a great day.